Flower Beauty is one of those brands that I fell in love with years and years ago. And I love that they don't keep coming out with things so quickly that you can't stay ahead of the brand and you can't try everything because everything comes out so fast. And I also like their quality and I've used so many of their products for years. So I have about 10 of those products that I wanna share with you today and let you know about. But first, if you're new to my channel, a special welcome to all of you. And I hope that you decide to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up please don't forget to hit the little bell icon i have been told recently that people aren't getting um, notified of videos that's not just my channel that's kind of across youtube but don't know what's going on they change up things all the time so don't forget to hit the little bell so that you can see me come up in your subscription feed or you can be notified right when I upload a video. So let's get into my top 10 favorite picks from Flower Beauty right now. So the first product that I'm going to start out with is one that has been talked about a ton on social media and I think everybody has seen it and it is their Light Illusion Perfecting Powder and this one is in the color porcelain. So this is the lightest color that they have. They do have another powder that is just, you know, a translucent white powder pressed, but I love this one. It's a it's kind of creamy. It gives a little bit of light to my skin. Um, it is what I'm wearing for my setting powder today. I am wearing most of the, these products today. I love their packaging as well. They're, they're really kind of a luxe packaging. They do have the compartment right here that holds a little sponge and it has a little mirror. So you can so you toss that in your purse, no problem. And um, I actually have one in my purse right now. So what I really love about this is it's very perfecting on my skin. It, that little bit of color to it just adds a little bit of coverage without adding extra texture to my skin. I also like that this is a great powder because I'm a little bit drier. It's not quite as um, powdery and, you know, really that really fine um, drying powder that you sometimes can find. It's not like that. It's quite a creamy powder and a really blur blurs my pores, perfects my face, and I just really love that one. So that one's my first one. And then I want to tell you about another powder from them. And this packaging is a little redundant to me because when you get inside of here, you're going to see that there's hardly any product in here for real. But this is the Flower Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. Now, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily extremely satin. I think that this is almost to the glow part. Um, but this is beautiful. And I will use this over top of my setting spray just to give me a light glow. And you're not going to be able to see it very good on camera. But can you see what I'm talking about, about the packaging being quite big compared to what it really needs to be? It, they could make a package that was like this small and do away with this other part right here. And I'd be just fine with that. But I can also put it into another container. That's not a problem. But it's a really beautiful powder. Powder. It is what I'm wearing as my setting powder today. It is what gives the, just a really nice, soft candlelight glow to the skin. It's one that has been touted a lot here on YouTube by makeup artists as being just a beautiful candlelight glow, kind of like the Hourglass. So I think that this is just an exceptional product. I love it. And then I'm also absolutely in love with their setting sprays. Now, because I'm so dry, I don't get the original one. It gives you kind of a matte finish. It's kind of like the Urban Decay All Nighter. So if you like that one, you would really love the original one. But I get the hydrating setting spray. And then they came out last year with the um, illuminating setting spray. So I'm wearing both of these today. I put on the hydrating spray after I put on my powder. Then I put on this um, finishing glow powder and then I used the glow mist. The glow and mist does have to be shaken up because it does separate, which tells me that there is a little bit of some sort of an oil in there. And that's fine for my skin normally because I'm really dry, but I love just the tiny bit of glow that it gives. And everybody's kind of been talking to me recently about, oh, your skin looks really Really good. That's the reason is because these products are really pretty glow uh, finishing powder and a glow setting spray or an, uh, just a spray for a nice glow on your skin is what I use. And I've been using this one, switching between this one and the L'Oreal one. And I like both of them. I 
I don't know which one I like better yet, but when I do, I'll let you know. But they're both really good. And the, the Flower Beauty one is very impressive to me. So it, you get more than you do in the L'Oreal one too, which is a big bonus in my opinion. Another one of my favorites that came out last year is the Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. And this one is in Sunrise. This one is a little bit, pulls a little bit more onto the kind of cool side but it looks really cool right there in the pan but i'm going to swatch it for you and then it doesn't look cool it's a baked bronzer see it really just looks very very bronzy it's it's not really pulling one way or the other wearing it today and i do enjoy having it as a bronzer and i really like the color of it the other one is very very orange as far as i can tell so this one just seems to do really good for me Again, I wish that they would come up with many more colors in their ranges and really go across the gamut and they would just hit it out of the park. And by the way, Flower Beauty is a cruelty-free brand, so that is a bonus for sure. And then I recently talked about the Flower Balm blushes from them, the cream blushes. These are so pretty, you guys. I have a, the color Bubbly and it is just like this pretty cool toned bubblegum pink and i'm just going to spread it across my hand right here this brush right here is a brush that i use from them for my concealer which i really like i love that it's angled it is the duo fiber that i talk about all the time for mature skin and how easy it is to work with that but today i'm just going to kind of buff this around so you guys can see how pretty this just kind of buffs into the skin now they do have several different colors that um, are quite a bit more intense and so if you like this you know this wash of color this type of thing then you would really like these blushes they're a really light product which is nice for summer too and that's what i like about it and then this brush i really enjoy having this brush for my concealer and i really been liking the way that it just buffs everything out without with, getting rid of too much of my concealer because i like to use the tiniest amount that i can possibly use because that helps with aging under eyes and the crepiness that you have the smaller the amount, amount of product you have there, the better. So I do really enjoy that brush a lot. So after now, I put the blush balm on today, I did went back in with the flower uh, pot blushes. This is the powder blushes, and this one is in Sweet Pea. And again, this is a very rosy, just a gorgeous, oh, I just think it's so pretty, just a gorgeous, really light shade. It and matches the cream one so well that what I did was I just layered the two of them on my skin today, and it just turns out so pretty and when you use those two together they are super budge proof the cream blush really lasts a long time on me anyway but then put this powder over top of it and whoa you've got like really a beautiful flush of color that's gonna just really last you all day and it's just really soft on the cheeks so really have been enjoying that one and loving that one and then the next product is their shimmer and strobe highlighting palette now i have mine in the lighter color they do have one that is a deeper color which i just love that and i think that the these are so gorgeous. I have had this for quite some time. I do have a little divot in these two over here, um, but this is going to last me for a really long time. I think these are every bit as pretty and nice as the ones that you get from Becca. I really do think that that formula is very comparable and hopefully you guys are going to be able to see how pretty those are oh my goodness they just they're so shimmery and so pretty and this and pink one and the champagne one they are what i put on my cheeks today and use today but just such absolutely gorgeous highlights and Honestly, if you go really light-handed and just stay on your cheeks, you're not going to get any texture if you're a mature woman, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. They did come out with their Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. This is a cream product, and this is a really, really pretty product. It says and that it is in the color Stunner. Now, I don't know if I've really paid attention to what colors there are. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen any other colors other than this one. So I'm not exactly sure about this, but it's a very, very creamy product. So if you like a dewy product on your skin, then you're gonna like that one. And what I would say is that you would want to go in with this as your last step. But I am gonna show you just a little bit what it will do. So if you just dot it onto your cheeks, and just blur it out or blend it out with your finger really lightly you're going to get a 
much more intense glow. But like I said, it is a very dewy product. So if you're oily skinned, I don't think that you're gonna like this one, but I just think that it is one of those ones that is just so pretty. Let me put it on the other side too. A lot of companies are coming out with this formula lately because it is one that just gives a glass-like finish. Their that, highlighter palette is like that too. It's very glass-like on the skin. But you guys, that just kind of bumped everything up a notch on my cheeks. It just gives the prettiest glow. And again, since it's a cream product, it's not going to really show up too much texture. And and really, if you're somebody that doesn't mind that little bit of tackiness on the top, which I don't usually mind, it's going to dry down a bit, especially with, you know, just patting it out. It's going to, you know, melt into your skin. So yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, look to your skin. Just that glass-like effect on it. So really do like that one. And then the last one that I have to talk about, I love these things, you guys. These are the Petal Pout lipsticks. I think they're so pretty. I'm not really crazy about their actual um, lip glosses or their matte ones. They're not my favorite, but these are such luxury lipsticks. And some of them are matte, some of them are cream. This particular one right here is Autumn Rose. Just a pretty kind of a medium rose color, very muted color that just about anybody can wear and you can build it up or sheer it out, whichever you like. And then the second one I have is Pink Dust. is more uh, along the lines of a lighter rose color. It's actually got quite a bit of peach in it, so it leans a little bit to the warm side but it's really beautiful with just like an everyday makeup look um, something that you could just blot on your lips put a gloss on and go this one is a cream one and autumn rose is a little bit more along the lines of a matte product and then the last one that i have that i am in love with this one is dahlia desire and this one is a cream as well this is the prettiest fuchsia berry i just think that that color is absolutely gorgeous it is so beautiful if you do a very nude eye not nothing dramatic on your eye but you make those lips pop and it's so pretty it's just one of those colors that i love these are such a great formula and i feel like there's such a luxury formula on those um, bullet lipsticks too. I just, I think they're next level. So I hope that you did like seeing what my favorites are of Flower Beauty's line. And I really want you guys input as to what you're enjoying and what you're liking. So make sure you tell me that in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. Hope you're all taking good care of yourselves. Please stay safe, stay hydrated, stay sanitized. And I will catch you guys all in my very next video. I love you, bye.